Hi, my name is Jonathan and I am a cancer advocate and a member of the European Association for Cancer Research. Now, if this is your first time here on this channel, well, hello and welcome. I'm so happy and glad to see you join us today. Please consider subscribing to this channel because um, what we do is that we provide information and support to individuals who have been directly or indirectly affected by cancer in one way or the other. All right? Our foundation is a passionate organization. We create this awareness on the deadly scourge of cancer because one thing you really need to know is that early detection is the best way to survive. Lots of people die every day. Now today our focus will be on the topic how does cancer spread in the body? Okay? It is no longer news that cancer takes the lives of so many people irrespective of age, race, societal status or even ethnic group and you know how it occurs and spread in the, in the body is an integral part of the treatment process. Now the onset of cancer usually begins as a solitary tumor in the body. If the tumor is not removed, cancer has the ability to develop and spread to nearby organs as well as places far away from its origin. Although there are tumors in the body that do not result in cancer, uh, these tumors are called uh, benign tumors. But it is important to check out all tumors in the body so, and to know why does cancer move from one area of the body and why those uh, organs, some certain organs are more likely to be infected than others. The process of cancer spreading across the body is called metastasis. It begins when cancer cells from malignant tumors invade normal and nearby tissues, all right? As, this, as the cell proliferates, they spread either by one of these three rounds of metastasis, which are transcoelomic, lymphatic, or and, and of course the hematogenous spread. The transcoelomic refers to the dissemination of malignant cells throughout the surface and organs of the abdominal and pelvic cavities. These cavities are known as peritoneum and it is usually common in ovarian cancer spread. The next is the hematogenous spread. As the name implies, this has to do with the blood or blood vessels. It happens when cancer cells invade blood cells and use uh, the medium to spread to other distant parts of the body. Finally, there is the lymphatic spread. It occurs when the cancer cells invade the lymph nodes via the lymphatic uh, system and you know that the lymphatic system connects all parts of the body thereby providing a very large network for these deadly uh, cells to spread it's been known that various cancers have specific sites in the body for metastasis for example the prostate cancer metastasizes to the bone while colon cancer uh, metastasizes to the liver right now that's how cancer spread is a very very abridged version Knowledge, they say, is very important when it comes to managing your health. The war against uh, cancer uh, is a constant struggle and scientists and researchers are developing new ways uh, to fight metastasis. And one of the ways is to boost the immune system or what is called uh, medically or oncologically immunotherapy. Right? This involves harnessing the power of the immune system to destroy cancer cells and um, of course other diseases well that's our edition today is a very very short edition please do remember that unhealthy lifestyles such as uh, unhealthy diets uh, lack of exercise uh, of course uh, being overweight all contribute to reducing the power of the immune system so please make the right choices today okay now if you like this video kindly smash the subscribe button and leave us a comment also let us know how we can be of assistance to you we want to thank you for watching our show today be brave to survive and may god bless you